Facebook, Amazon, and Google. Companies that CS kids and their parents dream about. But what if I told you that the toxic shit toxicity didn't end there? Well, there's another sector in tech called trading. And yeah, that's what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be about what trading is, my experience in it, and also how you guys can get into it too if you guys wanted to. And yeah, in trading you can make more money, but there's also pros and cons to it, so that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I hope it'll be interesting. Also take all this info with a grain of salt. I was literally only an intern, so there's really only so much I can know. But at the same time, I still know a little bit. But yeah, let's head right into it. Another day, another shit post. Alright, so first, I'll try to sell you guys on trading. So if we go to this website called levels.fyi, it has salary info for almost every tech company. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we look at internship salaries, Facebook and Google are around $44 an hour, which is honestly really good. But if we go all the way to the top and see the highest paying internships, we see all these random ass companies that nobody knows about. Pretty much all these companies are in trading and for internships, they pay like $72 an hour. And for full time, the top ones pay like 350K first year total compensation. So yeah, pretty much they just pay a ton and when I first heard about this, I thought it was pretty nuts. Alright, so next we're going to be talking about what these trading companies even are. Well, they do something called high frequency trading. Basically, you know the floor traders that yell shit to buy and sell stuff? Well, these companies make computers and algorithms to do the same thing but faster. They make like millions of trades every millisecond and honestly it's pretty cool. And they also just make a shitload of money doing this. So these high frequency trading companies buy and sell shit super fast. But here's an example of something that these companies can do. And it's called market making. And I'm going to have to straight up plagiarize part of this from a company called IMC Trading. Alright, so on an exchange, people can buy and sell things like stocks or options. The price they can buy or sell at depends on the supply and demand of the product. Also, if there's no one to buy or sell from, then the product can't be traded and it's considered illiquid. And this is kinda ass. So what these market makers do is offer to both buy and sell a product so that the product can be traded and becomes liquid. Ooh, liquid, yay. This can be pretty much all done with computers and the market maker then makes a profit on what's called the spread. So if it buys a stock for $100 and then sells it for $101, then it makes the spread, which is $1, because it's like $101 minus $100. But it gets more complicated than that because they have to be really fast to trade and also know what to value the product at. And also they have to minimize risk by buying and selling other product, which is why there's all these companies that do this. So what does this mean about jobs? Well, these companies usually hire a couple of types. There's software engineering, hardware engineering, and quantitative traders. So software engineering is what I did over the summer, and they pretty much do all the coding that would make the trades work. This is pretty broad and can be anything like implementing the algorithms, doing the low level system stuff, and also some data engineering for analysis. And honestly, I like it a lot. In general, it's really similar to some of the work that you would do at another sweet job, like at Fang, but it doesn't have the consumer facing side, like front end app development. And I would say that the work would be a little bit more challenging for new hires. They pretty much hire CS majors, computer engineering majors, and even electrical engineering majors. I do ECE, which is electrical, uh, electrical and computer engineering. But yeah, the interviews are pretty much like any other sweet job. It's lead code questions and also maybe a little bit of systems questions. But yeah, they don't care if you have any trading or finance knowledge though, which is really cool because I didn't have any when I interviewed. Next are quantitative traders and they come up with the algorithms to trade on. Pretty much they look at a ton of market data and then try to find signals and do some math analysis and also try to automate the process. I would say that the quants are definitely on average smarter than the software engineers, but they're also the type to pick their nose a lot more. So it only makes sense. And yeah, they're usually math, CS, or econ majors. And for the interview, they ask lead code questions, math questions, and also some pretty crazy brain teasers. And the last one are hardware engineers, and they work on the FPGA boards that all these trading companies have. 
So these trading companies are all over the globe, but in the US, they're mainly only in Chicago and New York. This summer, I was in Chicago and it was pretty fun. These trading companies definitely spoil you a lot more than any other sweet company. Like they take you out to $200 dinners that they pay for and also have a super nice office. And honestly, anything that you would want, they buy it for you without you asking. So yeah, that's really cool. And honestly, Chicago was also super nice. Uh, it's only in the summer. In the winter, it gets pretty bad, but I would honestly live there. Like I got to work out at a really nice gym and the lakefront is just super nice to run along. Oh yeah, and also in the summer in Chicago, there's Lollapuzza, which was super fun. All right, so next we'll talk about the pros and cons of these trading companies. For the pros, they pay a lot more money in cash too. So that's really nice compared to all the other sweet jobs. And also the people there are super smart. I feel like the smartest people in tech kind of just sell out to go here, but yeah, they're just really smart people there. For the cons, there's no stock options. Some people would say that's a pro or a con, but yeah, pretty much they pay you all in cash. So yeah, there's that. And also, I wouldn't say that the work that they're doing is all that important. Pretty much the whole trading industry is all these trading companies just competing against each other. And it doesn't really change people's lives or anything. I feel like if I went into this trading industry and then just stayed there for 20 years, I'd be super unhappy because yeah, there would be a lot of money, but you know, we're trying to change the world and shit. So yeah, I don't know if going into trading for that long would be a good idea for me at least, but as a new grad, Definitely the top companies like HRT, Jane Street, and Two Sigma, I would say are really worth it. Um, also, I like a company called IMC, but the top three companies are actually really hard to get. So I don't know, I'll just try my best and see how it goes. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next video is actually gonna be a straight banger, so stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.